Today we are here to show you how to properly clip and package your lionfish tails for entry into the Statewide Lionfish Challenge and the Panhandle Pilot Program. To qualify for the Statewide Lionfish Challenge, email a photo of your first 50 lionfish to lionfish at myfwc.com. Be sure to include in the photo something with the date and your signature on it. To qualify for the Panhandle Pilot Program, additional statewide lionfish challenge prize opportunities, and the chance to become Florida's lionfish king or queen, any lionfish tails must be brought to an official FWC checkpoint with a completed check-in form. The reason we want you to only bring tails and not the entire fish to FWC is so that we can quickly and accurately count your lionfish. The most important thing to remember when clipping your lionfish tails is to leave a little bit of the meat from the tail of the fish onto the tail fin so that the tail fin does not break apart. Here is an example of what a clipped tail should look like. Once you have clipped your lionfish tails, store them in a dry Ziploc bag labeled with your name, phone number, and date the lionfish were harvested. You may freeze your lionfish tails and bring them to any FWC checkpoint anytime the programs are active. The statewide lionfish challenge runs from May 14, 2016 and extends through September 30, 2016. The Panhandle Pilot Program will begin on May 14, 2016, but will extend through May 20, 2017. For a list of FWC checkpoints, please visit myfwc.com slash lionfish.